the Millennium President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, and the Juju Priests of the Bar. Good evening, sir. Yeah, I good evening. I am the DIG of um, Nigerian Police, DIG Utwak. Um, sir, um, thank you very much for having to talk to us. DIG retired. Um, sir, how are you enjoying the conference so far? It's marvelous. Um, it's uh, very, very enriching. And, uh, you know, it has international dimension, cross fertilization of ideas, and uh, we have uh, listened to a lot of uh, lectures and seminars and uh, workshops, and, and uh, the people that displayed a lot of uh, new ways of doing things, uh, modern ways of, uh, you know, in the various fields of law, and it's very, very enriching, and I, I have a... Uh, benefited so much from it, particularly myself that I've just uh, gotten retired from the police and I, I have just uh, established my, started working on my, you know, my chambers. Uh, so it's, it's so enlightening and uh, very useful. And your biggest gain of it all? Uh, my biggest gain is that I am here, I've interacted with the high and mighty, not only in Nigeria, but internationally. And, um, from what I have said before, you know, it's uh, going to reinforce uh, the reason why I have come and I will continually be a member of the IBA. And then what would be your advice to um, other lawyers that are not here? Uh, My straightforward from... advice is that every lawyer what is out in Nigeria should be a member of the IBA in the sense that uh, it will help the person to increase uh, his knowledge. You know, when you are not uh, involved in acquiring uh, mod knowledge of what the, the modern trends of things, you will become obsolete and you will be quoting uh, old laws uh, and uh, uh, quoting old cases that are no more relevant. But if you are current with what is happening both nationally and internationally, you will have a lot to gain. It is very, very important for uh, our practice as professionals. What do you wish Nigeria at 52? Um, somebody who has become 52 is already an adult and uh, we know we have a lot of uh, problems uh, we are grappling with in Nigeria and it is not peculiar to Nigeria alone, it's a global thing. So uh, everybody should uh, you know, put uh, everything we can to make sure that Nigeria, our country, uh, is made to you know, grow from a... Uh, dependent country to real independent country and well developed yes thank you very much sir for talking to us this night um do enjoy your party thank you very much thank you um lawrence okojaja is my name i'm the chairman of nigerian bar association port Harcourt branch and uh, i am uh, some of my members are here for the iba conference Mr. Lawrence Okujanja, how are you enjoying your conference so far? Oh, it's been an uh, eye-opening experience, you know. I've been a member of the International Bar Association for over 10 years now. And uh, coming to Ireland is like an icing on the cake. Yes. And um, what would you say to other lawyers that are not here today? Now, what I would say to other lawyers that are not here today is that um, it's good to prepare your papers early, apply for your visas early by first of all registering to attend the conference. When you register to attend the conference early, chances are that your letter of invitation or registration will come early. With that letter of registration, you can now apply early for visa. And when you apply, the chances of getting it is uh, high when you apply early than when it's like the rush hour. So what you have to do is perhaps begin to save, save early enough to be able to apply early and attend the conference. Because in networking, for instance, I'm here, I've met the ambassador and other persons, 
which if I were in Nigeria, I wouldn't have been able to do. So I will advise them to try and please, 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 please come to Abia. So in your absence, Nigerian turned 52. What do you wish the country? I wish the country success. I wish the country hope. Nigeria is a great country. That is the only country apart from the US, USA where your potentials can be enhanced by your own hands. You know, without inhibition, without tribe, sex, or gender, or who you are. Nigeria is still a good country. You know, the opportunities are great in Nigeria if you can tap into it. It's just that uh, at times we feel that, uh, oh, if you don't know anybody, you can't make it in Nigeria. I'm a living example of not knowing anybody and I'm in Ireland. I'm making it in Ireland, I'm making it in no, Nigeria. No, I'm, I'm not in Ireland, I don't practice in Ireland, I'm practicing in Nigeria. But you're networking and you're making it. Yes, you can, yes you can say so again and again and again. Thank you very Hello. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Good evening, ma. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. How are you enjoying Ireland? Oh, very good. Great. The four seasons in one day. Yeah. Now it's rainy. Um, a while ago it was cold. Are you enjoying? It's amazing, really, because I don't know how it happens, but you find all the weather. You know, all the elements of the weather converging. In one day. Uh, in one day. <laughs> you really can't predict what is going to happen in the next minute. And um, your conference has it going Oh, so beautiful. Far? It's going great. Going great. And will well, you come again for another one? Oh, yeah. Would you, would you come because it's Dublin or you come because you go because of the conference? Um, both. I think Dublin is a beautiful place. People are friendly and um, it's a place you want to visit a second time. So far, from all the information you've gathered in the conference, what would you take back home? Which is the most you would want to apply when you get back home? Um, well, unity of purpose, especially amongst members of the same profession, uh, because we have co one common goal and um, we all have a stake in what this profession is going to turn out to be in the future. And we have to prepare it such that future generations will be able to take over from where we have stopped. So I, I want to be able to take that back. In your absence, Nigeria turned 52. What would you wish the country? I wish the country uh, better times ahead, uh, better leadership than we have had in the past, and a greater commitment from the people so that we can forge ahead. Right. Nice talking to you. Nice this talking to you. This is Victoria Onoha. Victoria Onoha, University of Benin. Okay. Hello, good Hello, evening. Hello, good evening. How are you enjoying our beautiful weather in Dublin? Wow, it's, um, it's cold, but um, you know, for me, it's, it's something different from home, so I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. You're good with it? Yeah. You're enjoying the four seasons in one day? Yeah. Okay. Um, at some point in time, uh, today was a bit warm and then later cold, you know, so... And again raining? Raining now, yeah. And um, your conference is so far, have they met your expectations? Yes. Uh, I think I must give kudos to uh, the organizers of this year's um, IBA conference. It's been very well organized and uh, things have been going smoothly so far. I think I give them uh, kudos for that and it's quite a large turnout, all more than 5,000 lawyers and for them to, um, to be able to manage that crowd in a seamless manner, I think it's, um, it's worth commending. Did you go for the last year one? Um, okay, last year it happened in Dubai. I didn't go. And but are you the going for next year? By the grace of God. The previous one, um, the previous year was in, um, uh, in Canada, Vancouver, and I was there. But uh, last year when it happened in Dubai, I wasn't there. But I, I plan to be in Boston next year, God willing. So what are you taking back home to the people waiting for you? What information has been your, the best gained? so far um generally the iba conference for me is always an opportunity to share experiences and to also learn about um, practices law practice in other jurisdictions and also an opportunity to network and get to meet new people uh, i think this uh, conference so far i have met a couple of new people and i've also had cause to share some of the um, ideas and 
uh, practices and some of our values from Nigeria have been able to share that with other people from other countries in this conference. So I think it's been uh, worthwhile. And uh, today is just the second day. We have three days to go. So I'm and are sure you waiting for other days? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm sure that there will be greater things also to learn during, in the course of the days to come. Best of luck. Thank in your, you. As you enjoy your conference. And, Thank um, you. Good evening, sir. Please, will you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is uh, Kamal Dina Jibade, the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Kuala State, Nigeria. Um, sir, I understand you came for the conference. I'm happy and enjoying it. Yeah, very well, and we really appreciate uh, the reception offered to us by His Excellency, the Ambassador Nigeria to Ireland. We really have a nice time, and uh, we're glad to at least yeah, showcase what we have in this country. And, uh, we, are, we are here today, and we had a good reception. Um, so far, with what you've gained in the conference, what would you, what, which of them will you apply when you get back home? Yeah, the conference is still on. We are just uh, the second day into the conference. But so far, what you've gained? But uh, so far, we've been able to discuss issues of uh, international relations. We've been able to, uh, particularly, there's an aspect of the conference I've enjoyed so much, and that is the interview with the Under Secretary of the United Nations on legal matters. The issue of uh, Syria, issue of Darfur, and other international issues were discussed. And uh, we're able to make our own contribution back home. Uh, the intention of the uh, Nigerian government, we've been able to tell them the position we believe this, uh, we should be able to take as uh, lawyers in uh, really presenting the case of Africa. And uh, we're, we're, we're happy that apart from the aspect of the security, the aspect of the environmental degradation was, was brought to fore. And we were able to bring the issue of Niger Delta and other areas into discussion. And uh, I believe this conference is something that we have to keep up because it assists us in really bringing our problems and bringing solution clearly before us. And we're able to present papers that at least international committees can look at and at least act on them. So, in other words, you're going to be definitely going for the next conference? By God's grace. And where would that be at? Uh, that would be uh, Boston. Um, in your absence, Nigeria turned 52. What do you wish the country? Yeah, I really wish the country all the best. But one particular thing I can tell Nigerians is Nigerians should be patient with this present administration. Uh, because uh, the problem we have presently on ground as to infrastructure development here and there, whenever Nigerians travel out of their shore, they get so enraged because when they see development in all the other countries. But I want them to be patient with the present administration because the present administration is inheriting backlogs. And if you don't give your support, there's no way the government will achieve. The agenda has been set. We have, we have seen improvement in power back home today. We have seen improvement in power. Electricity has improved. And I'm sure with the bundling of the PSCN that is going on, with this present administration, I'm sure we'll be able to achieve. Once we get the power right, all of that is we follow. So I urge Nigerians to be patient and give the president the opportunity to succeed. Thank you very much, Commissioner, for talking to us. And Thank you. We hope you continue to enjoy your conference here yeah. in Ireland. Thank you. Good evening. Um, will you please introduce yourself? I am Barrister Donald Osing and a boy by name. I am the Honorable Commissioner for Commerce and Industry at those states. I am a lawyer by profession, and as a result of that, I came for this IBA conference, which is taking place in uh, Dublin. Thank you. Um, Commissioner, it, you said you just came in today. Yes. What do you hope to gain in this conference that you're coming in from? Uh, when I came in this afternoon, uh, as a matter of fact, the first session I attended was about taxation, and uh, that is an area where the state government is very much uh, 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 interested in uh, helping the people because we believe when the people pay tax, more infrastructures, more development can come in. And uh, I took time to attend the program. 
and it was quite uh, refreshing because uh, areas that we have not even harnessed in the state in terms of transition, I'm sure when I get back to the state, I'm going to draw the attention of the government to that. So I will gain so much about uh, the transition and more sessions that I, I saw in the program tomorrow, next. I am sure by the time one is through with the program, you have much to tell your people at home. But this evening, I came here, uh, I came for this, uh, uh, I mean, we were invited by the the Nigeria ambassador to uh, Ireland, and uh, while I was coming, I decided to come with some uh, copies of our investment guide, because right now, not only is Nigeria ripe to, to invest in, but Edoce particularly is economically friendly, the environment is healthy for investment, and I feel that those who do not know about what is those who don't know what is happening in Edoce right now in Nigeria should know by uh, going through what we have just given to our our uh, uh, ambassador. We provided the uh, uh, I, I provided the investment guide of the state. That investment guide contains mineral resources, what we do in the state, development we have achieved, and other areas that have not been tapped. Which, with the aid of uh, uh, foreign investors coming in to join hands, more could be tapped. Thank you very much. And Nigeria turn 52. Yes. And um, now, what do you wish the country? Uh, Nigeria turned 52. Many have always asked, is there anything to celebrate about Nigeria? My answer is yes. There is much to celebrate. That I even left Nigeria yesterday and got to Dublin today. It's something to celebrate about because if we are in war or we are in crisis or the country is not peaceful, I don't think I can leave my country to come to Dublin to say I want to attend IBA. So the independence, that freedom, that air of peace that relatively uh, uh, strive in Nigeria right now is worthy of celebration. And again, we are, no matter how you criticize our democratic system, let me say that democratic system is still better than our military. And what we have in place right now for the past 12 years is experimental democracy in Nigeria and is yielding a dividend. Thank you very much. And in Edo State? Edo State particularly. Uh, Edo State is now a role model of governance in Nigeria and in Africa in general. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us today, and um, we do hope you do enjoy your conference in the days ahead. I will do my best to enjoy it, even if the environment is unfriendly. Because I can see that cold is blizzing all over the place. Oh no, you are going to enjoy our weather. Enjoy with us the four seasons in one day that we are used to in Ireland. Thank you very much. You get much. the spring, the summer, the autumn, and the winter all in one day. Thank you very kindly. God bless you. Hello. How Please, are you? Can you introduce yourself? I am Barista Judo Gida. How are you enjoying your conference so far? Uh, it's a lovely, very, very uh, revealing, entertaining, and uh, I really learned a lot. I uh, learned so much about uh, some issues of the pre -KMA. Yeah. What do you hope to gain in the days coming? Out? No, like I still don't I came all the way to Dublin for this conference, and uh, I, I must confess it's better than, than the one we had in uh, Dubai last year. And I've learned a lot, and uh, I'll go back and do my research, and I'll go back to Benin City. And uh, I know I'll gain it so much. And you hope to go for the next, the one in Boston next yeah, year? Yeah, no, definitely. God willing, I'll be in Boston. I don't like missing the bar conferences. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for talking to nice us. One. Have a great day. Well, it was good. It's nice to mix up with your own when you're abroad. And I, you know, I really enjoyed it. And are you okay. a lawyer yourself? No, I'm an accountant. So, yeah. So did you come, in, come here with someone? Yes, my husband is. And he's, um, he, 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 he attended as well, so I, I came in with him. I had a good time, though. You had a good time enjoying the party tonight. Yeah. And what has he said about the conference so far? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a great experience for him. And it's good to see that, you know, we're investing in, you know, education and, you know, improving our skills and all of that. That's what you take away from things like this. And I think it's great that they're doing that. And you, for you today, were you able to network because there were a lot of different oh, of people course. here? Networking is the key part of it. Different people from different states of yeah, states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And old friends as well. So did you meet yeah. your friends of in course, here? Of course, of course. Good evening. How did you enjoy the evening? It was a fabulous evening, it was. Did you meet a lot of people today? Yes, I did. Um, Governor Fashion Law was here. There were lots of commissioners in Nigeria for, you know, for finance and education and so on. You were crowned just recently and this happens to be your second outing. How have you enjoyed it? It's been amazing. There's been a lot of positive feedback and people, you know, lots of congratulations and, you know, people wishing me well and high, high expectations. And what do you hope to do in your reign? 
I hope to make a positive impact and just make us make us relevant in this in this society. All right. Thank you for talking to us. Thank this you evening. very much.